Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Tycoon de Cartel. <laughs> uh, so I've been experimenting with drug packs. Okay. Uh, oh, extra. Hang on. So I also just discovered something else. See how much dirty money we have? Uh, so I put this as a destination. I put the residence as a destination for the aerodrome. And so these guys keep like taking the money back to the house. But there's so much money here. So uh, you go move over there. And I want you to deliver the money to the taxi service because they don't have anything to do right now. Okay, and then hopefully you're going to deliver cash as well. So see the drug packs? I've been packing drugs, okay? And it's like, I thought if I... I I've been experimenting with a workshop. It's powered off right now because it, it ended up not being a very good experiment. Uh, but basically, my thought process was, if I take a workshop and I make drug packs, then I can ship the packs in higher quantities and get more money for them. Uh, that's not the case, Turns to comes to find out. Um, so basically, what's happening right now is that they're bringing all the stuff to the aerodrome and it's not on. Yes, it is. It's on. Uh, hang on. So let's uh, take a second really quick. I want to bring the money. Right now, because we're shipping the packs, right? We're shipping the packs plus 10 opium, that's all a plane can hold. With 10 packs and 10 opium, it's only getting us $910. So it's like drug packs are... Making less money than they should, I think. I'm not sure if that math is accurate, but if you process drugs through into a drug pack container from the workshop, it nets you less money, which is like it's pretty it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna get her a promotion because she has been pretty loyal. Kidnapping. Kidnap a rich man and get legal money as ransom. Um, okay. That seems, I mean, it seems good, but oh, I gotta do it. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do it. I gotta figure out what that's all about. Okay, so she can kidnap a rich man. Get your promotion, pal. Uh-huh. So, anyway, I thought if I packed it up, it would be worth more. Uh, and it is not. It's not worth more. In fact, the plane that leaves on this, on this place right now with 10 packs and 10 opium, it's only giving me $910 a flight to where if I come over here, you're gonna see, if I click this, that 26 opium on one flight nets me 2,300. So that's a lot more per flight. And I think it's it, it works better. So, um, you, move over here. You, stop taking the money out of the aerodrome. There we go. Okay, now what I want to do, right? So this is overpacked right now, right? And I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and deliver the money over to uh, here. And this has got a, this actually has a lot to. This actually has a lot of money to move. I'm gonna tell her to stop the delivery really quick. And what I think I'm gonna have her do is deliver money to this place instead. And then that way, this place has something to, uh, you know, has something to wash, I guess. Right? I want you to deliver. Oh, you don't have anything to deliver now. All right, move to the taxi service. There you go. I want you to deliver the money to here. There. And now we have twelve thousand in the jewelry store, and twelve and ten thousand in um, the taxi company. That way, both of those places are gonna start doing the, uh, the laundering of money at the same time, which is gonna be good. So anyway, I, I kind of made a big problem myself trying out the drug pack. So eh, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys the workshops, but I'm gonna demolish this building first because I kind of don't want it to be there anymore. Okay. Uh, next thing to do is we need to get my buddy over here. He moves really slow. Oh, it's a dirt road, right. Okay, what I want you to do, I want you to deliver, let's say, let's get this, uh, this opio over there. Like, let's do that. And then I want you to also do the same. I want you to deliver, let's say, this to that workshop right there, to that warehouse. 
I'm hoping by doing that it'll free up supply so it doesn't overflow. But right now, this stuff is sending it constantly to this aerodrome. So I'm going to redirect your supply to this one. All right, that's it's still that's still a lot. All right, we definitely want to use. Let's let's just have it store for the time being, okay? Because it's empty. What we want to do is we want to get to where we are using the seaport. The seaport is great. Since we just took the city, we shouldn't have a problem taking everything we need to get that seaport. So what I'd like to do now is we're gonna get Tony to come on over here. And we're going to get Hector to come on over here, too. Vanessa's been forced to stop moving. Because uh, she's got nothing to do. I want you to deliver the money as soon as it comes in. There you go. I want you to deliver the money to the jewelry store. Okay. So these guys should be autonomous right now, right? No, they're not. Money to here. Okay, there we go. So those guys are just going to do their thing now. What we're going to do instead... I got to check supply. Okay, we're good. What I like to do now with these three is we're going to go ahead and move them to the seaport. And this is going to start a fight. Seaport's got three power. And I'm also going to move you there. And I'm going to move you there. I'm hoping that we take this so fast that we don't even, we don't even trigger like the police again. Like I, I want the terror level to go down to where police aren't involved. But like right now, I mean, the D, it's not gonna go below the DEA for this. So I just wanna do this really fast so that we don't have to get any other tier involved. By having everybody here, it should happen really quickly. And all done, perfect. Uh, looks like we got our music stoppage thing again. Great, I will attempt to put something behind this. But no promises, okay? <laughs> Probably not the game soundtrack, but I don't know. I've got to put something here because the music just keeps stopping. All right, so what I'd like to do now that we've got all three of the, the pieces in order, right? we got two airfields, and now we control a seaport. What we got to do now, I'm going to move Hector back. Let's say, uh, I don't know, I'm going to put you over here for now, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to put you... Let's move you back to here, and we'll put you... Let's move you, I don't know, to the residence. What I'd like to do is we're going to set up new logistics for setting it to the seaport. Now, you got to remember, the seaport does not send illegal goods. They will not send things like the drug packs and stuff. They won't send opioid, uh, opium straight up like what these things do, right? Like the airfields do. So we need to go through a legit channel to send non-legit substances. To do that, we need to start producing other types of materials as well. So in this case, we got our two warehouses here, right? All of our warehouses. This one needs to be upgraded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a workshops. And I want two workshops. So we're gonna send up one workshop here and this one is gonna be, I kinda want it to be automated. Like, I don't have to worry about which warehouse goes where, but I, I, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna set one up. Can I set one up on this side of the road? Pretty, pretty, please. Uh, I guess I could do it on this side. No, it won't let me. Okay, so we're gonna set one up here, and we're gonna set one up, uh, let's say here. Okay, two workshops. Set up along the road. We're gonna have gravel, and I'm gonna have one road go in like that, and one road go out like that. It's pretty legit, right? Uh, and then this road will go in like that, and this will come out that side. Like that. Direct access, okay. Two workshops. The first workshop, actually they're both gonna do the same thing, but th the idea is we wanna send as much stuff through the seaport as possible. Now, we're gonna lose 30% of our money, but since we're overcrowding our airways right now and I wanna use everything to its fullest extent, I'm okay with paying the tax temporarily, okay? So we're gonna grow vegetables and opium. Basically, we're gonna package the opium into vegetable containers and we're gonna send the vegetable containers through, uh, yeah, we're gonna send the vegetable containers through. 
Now, the vegetables are something we can grow ourselves, which is why I'm choosing vegetables. If I chose to use spice or coffee or, you know, anything like that, we, we could potentially get more profits out of it. But we're going to send vegetables instead because I can grow them very easily right now. So I've got a bunch of farms and these two warehouses are all going to send. And we're going to try to send everything through here if possible. So the first thing is we're going to remove the destinations for our warehouses. Okay. And uh, I think these guys are going to keep sending to the arrow. We're going to let these guys keep sending to the planes. But this operation is going here. This warehouse is going to send things to this workshop. Now, that's going to mean that we have to have some of these growing vegetables. So we're going to have a little bit of vegetable action here. Let me just go, let's say two sets of vegetables here. I think you're going to the other one. I don't know. Um, where do you send your stuff? Do you send it to that one or this one? I need to know where you go. Where do you send yours? You get it from this one? Looks like you get it from this one. Okay, so what I need now then is an extra one doing opium. You another one doing opium on this side. Would have liked it to have been different, but there's too many roads. I want to get rid of some of these roads. I think I'm gonna get rid of some of these roads. Um, can I get rid of roads or no? Yeah, demolish roads. Let me get rid of this road and this road. And then I think I want to actually just destroy this farm. I'm going to, I'm going to bop that farm. Uh, and then I'm going to, I'm going to restructure this a little bit because this isn't, this isn't great. We're going to get rid of this road. And I think we're going to get rid of um, this road. We'll move that one. This one is going to get moved too. Instead, we're going to put the road on this side like that. And then we're gonna take you and put you on. I would go around this way. I think I can fit two. That. Okay. So once all this stuff is broken down, then this gravel road, right, we're gonna take you around this way and hook you up to there. This is gonna open up this to have more farms, is the hope anyway. So we're gonna have vegetables here, two vegetables here. And I guess I can't do two vegetables. Well, maybe I can, I don't know. This warehouse is going to go to here. Now, we have a whole bunch of opium delivered here, but we don't have a whole lot of vegetables right now. We're gonna fix that in a couple, in a second. Right now, what I wanna do is we're gonna get Hector to move to the village. I'll show you why in a second. For now, I want logistics. This workshop is going to deliver all the way over here. Okay? So you deliver to the seaport. You, other workshop, are also going to deliver all the way to the seaport. Okay. And both of you are going to be doing vegetables and opium in vegetable containers. Okay? So as soon as you have the supply necessary to complete the recipe, you'll start working. Now we've got plenty of opium coming in, but we don't have any vegetables coming in currently. That is what Hector is for at the moment. Hector is going to purchase vegetables from town. And right now we're gonna purchase about 26 of them. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we don't need to purchase, but by purchasing, we up our loyalty level. See, we got a little bit of loyalty right here, right? And that means and we have three days until we restock. That means I can now deliver the vegetables to the workshop. Okay? And then we can repurchase after three in three days. So that's what I'm that's what I'm looking to do. Build loyalty through those purchases for a little bit until we get, you know, the supply of vegetables and stuff starting to get delivered. That's a little different once that happens. Right? But for the time being, that's how I want to do this. So I think that's all I need to do, right? Yeah. Are you delivering? Finally. Okay. Now that this is clear and we don't have to worry about the drug packs and stuff anymore, right? Now what I want to do 
is I need to make sure you guys, yep, you're delivering here. How much is in there? 50 out of 75, nice. Okay, I want you, this one right here, I want you delivering here, yep. And we're gonna turn you on, just like that. You're gonna deliver here, you're gonna deliver here, and we're gonna start getting things moving again with this airfield, because I messed up big time there. To be fair though, I messed up because I was experimenting and I think it's important to experiment to learn things, you know? Uh, if you're new here by some chance, I am not a person, I'm not a gamer who is going to just look at a wiki and find out all the ways to do it because I read about it. That's not how I play games. Um, you can play games that way if you want to, I'm not judging. Uh, but I don't like to do that. I like to experience the game the way it is and um, allow that to, you know what, actually, this right here is kind of silly. Why don't we just connect it here? I like the game to teach me how to play it, right? I want the game to show me how it's done. That's how I like to do it. So these are two vegetables, uh, which is great, except for, um, are you delivering just nothing but vegetables right now or what? 35, we have opium packs. Yep, 21 opium in vegetables. And it's on its way to the seaport. And you should be, both going here, and then you are taking it to that one. You are delivering to that one, and you should have, yeah, you have enough stuff to make the formula, good. I want to restock, if we can, please. Upping our loyalty a little bit more, right? And then he's gonna keep doing it. So he'll keep delivering vegetables. Now he's going the long way, man. Why'd you choose to go the long way? I guess it's because like going back this way is technically slower, really? Seems weird. I'm gonna give you a side road. I'm gonna give you another road. That should be much faster to do that now. All right, so we're going all the way to the seaport, right? Now I'm gonna move over to the seaport. We're gonna take a look at it. So right now, right, we have four days uh, on the export, so it's gonna come back. Currently, we only have one package of vegetables in storage, which is a bit odd, let me say. I'm just gonna tell you, it's a bit odd. We got four more coming in through here, but as we start exporting more and more, uh, I should hopefully see trucks leaving with bigger stacks. Like, there's 18, but that's going to the... Like, are we gonna get these things delivering further or what? Should be going directly to the seaport. I feel like we should have more packages of vegetables delivered than five. But maybe we just now started. Maybe that's how that goes. I don't know. Uh, with the terror offense being the way it is, I kind of feel like taking control of this stuff too. Cause we got a workshop. I mean, everything's set up right here to do it, right? We get, we, we buy, we get these two farms. We take the warehouse. We take this workshop, and ta-da! We're ready to go for through this town. But. I, mean, I thought we could just do it. Yeah, so five vegetable packs, which is 15 opium in vegetables. Uh, it's gonna net us 1365, which isn't great. But as our volume increases, like there's 12 coming right here, right? So this is five and that's giving us 1300. Just this one truck is like, you know, more than double that. And as our volume increases, we're gonna get like a lot more happening here. Okay, so now we just need to increase our volume like rapidly. So let's talk about that. We're gonna grab two more farms and we're gonna go one right here. We could probably fit three farms in here. Um, I'm gonna do two, but I think we could probably fit three later. Cause I think we can fit one like right here. I mean, granted, I could, I could min max the, these roads, but you can see it. Sometimes it lets me do it right there. So like we can still do three if we wanted to. All right, we're gonna have this be, there we go, and there we go. And we're just gonna do that. This is opium and this is opium. Okay, so we should have what? More, we can, we can do opium in two and then vegetables in one, opium in two, vegetables in one. I think so. 
and it should deliver right here. They say should. And then these should all be delivering to the workshops. And now we should have lots of Bopium being delivered to the workshops, hopefully. And then every time we buy vegetables, we raise our loyalty and Hector goes and delivers it to the workshop, right? And then I could do the same thing with, um, with Tony if I wanted to. I could bring him over there. But I think it's better to do that with another village. I don't think we can do that with another village, can we? Is there another village? It's an enemy gang's village. I think I have to... I think in order to do that, I actually have to take that village by force. I don't want to do that right now. I got to tell you, it's a whole different experience playing this game without any soundtrack. Because the soundtrack is... It's really nice. Um, and I'm hoping that you guys are just getting replacement music right now. Because I got to tell you, it, it, it's so much better when the soundtrack works consistently. It's very good. All right. So we got dirty money. We're bringing it in. This is not overflowing now. That's That feels good. And uh, the other aerodrome is not overflowing. That feels good. And then all the other stuff is, again, being sent out through these vegetables. All right. So now we don't have any opium here. So we're getting a little low on opium. Maybe... Uh, yeah, we need more deliveries to there. How do we get more deliveries there? I worry that this farm is delivering to this warehouse. I need to keep an eye on it, because I think it is. It is. It is. Okay, that's why. So this warehouse is taking all the opium. Uh, that's okay, though. I'm just going to build another farm. And um, if we build it just outside the influence of that one, then we don't get... Eh, it's not very efficient. So, note to self, you want to space these out so that uh, one workshop doesn't take uh, all of it. Or, or here's an idea. Why don't we just shut down? We could put in... Ooh, we could do that. What if we just put... If you were doing this ourselves, if, sorry, you could take the Warehouse 2. Since Warehouse 2 has two destinations, you could just have everything pummeling into it and then just have two destinations and have both of them being delivered to at the same time. Could do that. I, on the other hand, have lots of land here and I feel like I could just... Yeah, see, this is still in range for this one. I wish we could d directly influence which one, like, the farms go to. But either way, I think we just need more opium at the moment. Because, like, we just don't have anything in our warehouse storage anyway. It's all being outsourced. So we're just going to have another farm put in anyway. All right, now this one's got a lot of vegetables in storage. I see. You're not making vegetable packs. You're getting way too much. You're not getting enough, and you're getting too much. So, Hector, I want you to move over here. You see that we just keep pummeling things into here, and that's not good. Hector, I want you to deliver the vegetables to here. And now we'll just have them all delivered that way. There we go. We can stop delivery now. So we've got... Opium is still the big problem. We need to have more opium farms. So why don't we get... I wish this was more efficient. Like, I wish this was, like, we could do more 100%. That'd be kind of nice. Um, or another plantation, even. You know, we have $40,000. I'm thinking research-wise, right? We could look at doing, like, getting plantations. Because they're the equivalent of, like, four farms, right? So why don't we just unlock Tier 1 on plantations? 24,000. If we unlock that... We could just plant a planta plantation down. I think I could just wipe this. Wipe this area, drop a single plantation, and then do like two vegetable fields after that. It'd be the equivalent of having like four, like four opium right in the middle. And then these guys can just share that supply, right? You have vegetables around the outside, two in each warehouse. And then the opium in the middle is being shared by these two. I mean, that's, that's doable, right? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. This one is getting all the vegetables, and it's not getting any... Like, they're both basically just getting tons of vegetables. So, I think we swap these for opium for a while. We start growing opium on all, on all fields for a bit. See if that helps at all. 
because they, they have plenty of vegetables. Opium is what they lack, so. And then once they get going, right? Let's take a look. We go all the way over here, right? So we have currently sold, and right now our current boat, the current boat that's on its way has nine vegetable packs. Sorry, 19. 19 vegetable packs, and that means it's gonna be worth $5,000. We currently have 16,000 in storage. That's all of our uh, dirty money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell Felix to deliver $12,000 at a time, by the way. Now, yep, now it's 21,000 in storage. We're gonna have you deliver this money over here so that it can be cleaned. Now, as you do that, watch as he moves through here. We're gonna like pay a tax almost, right? 30% of this is gonna vanish. Boom. And we pay the 30% as we move through it and it adds a little bit of terror, right? So we're getting penalized for going through a territory like that. Uh, let's go ahead and buy more vegetables. And I want to get plenty of vegetables. We don't need any more. We need to do. I need to do something different with the logistics of this place, right? Because this is kind of a. This was kind of an afterthought. I think what I'd like to do, if I had enough money, what I think I'd like to do, is just wipe the slate clean. Just delete all of these, right? And then run it again. But I can't really do that real well. But, but we've unlocked plantations. We might as well use it. So I think what I can do really well, right, is figure out how big plantations are. And it looks like it'll fit like right here. So if I, if I eliminate all these farms, each farm is $1,000, though. Kind of don't want to eliminate all the farms, but I will eliminate the middle ones that I just built. <laughs> and we'll see if by eliminating those, those farms... I mean, they're all doing opium anyway, right? We'll see if by eliminating these farms, we can get a plantation in here. And I think we might... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, okay. Going through here. That's what it was. Yeah, going through there sucks. All right, with this gone, with this gone, I don't think I need um, this road. We can take this road out, and we can also take uh, this road out. Good. Okay, so can a plantation fit right here? I think it can if I move. I have to move this farm. Yeah. If I move that farm, I think I can get it. I can put it right here. I think it'll fit. So we'll have to get rid of this one, unfortunately. But I think in the long term, this is going to be way worth it. And then, honestly, I think maybe just maybe we just take all of it out, put this warehouse over here on this side. There's nothing in this warehouse right now. I like this. Let's just let's just redo this whole thing. I mean, it's a little bit of money now, but I think. In the long run, it's going to be worth it, right? So I think I'm just going to go ahead and dump. Th well, actually, warehouses are more expensive. Hang on. Warehouses are 5,200. If I can make this work without moving that, I should. Hmm, maybe we take the road. We can delete all of this. That's not necessary anymore since I'm done experimenting with that. Go all the way around like that. Mm -hmm, good. We will remove that, and maybe we maybe we leave these for now. But we're just restructuring everything today. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, you don't you don't even know. It's gonna be awesome. Don't don't judge me. <laughs> as soon as all this stuff is gone, you'll see. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a plantation, and this is gonna be like the main source of opium in this hair in this area right here it's gonna just be right there it's shared by both warehouses they can both use it along the exterior is where we'll have the farms and these farms will uh, do a variety of things so let's say 100 percent uh here and here uh yeah here and here so what I'm hoping for here is we'll have these be vegetables. The exterior farms will be vegetables. And these two can only be seen by this one. So there's no confusion there. 
these two can only be seen by this one, and then this one is shared amongst both. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's how that works. We'll see. Uh, Road-wise, we're gonna connect you this way to there. We'll have you go there. We'll have you go. Um, I want to be able to see it working, so I'm gonna put you that way, and then I want to put you over here. Okay. That should be good. Let's see how it works. You're gonna be vegetables. You're gonna be vegetables. And you are a beautiful plantation making all sorts of good stuff, okay? Now I'm hoping every time this procs, it goes to a different warehouse. I'm hoping. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm hoping it is. Let's see. Yep, okay, that takes eight. And then the next time it procs, this one should take the eight, hopefully. And no, it doesn't. Interesting, okay. Um, you have to be turned on, don't you? Yeah, sure do. All right, vegetable farms for everybody, good. And now this going through here is actually raising terror significantly. This is, I mean, it's great for money, but going through here is cost, it's like a lot of terror. I would really like to get the loyalty up. And I th it looks like the only way to do that is to just buy vegetables over and over again. That's what it looks like anyway. Uh, so let's go back to the village. We're gonna purchase more. And I'm gonna have you bring vegetables to this one. Because this one's this one's got nope, this one doesn't have any this one has vegetables but no opium. This one has vegetables but no opium. Hmm. Alright then. Everybody gets opium. I mean that's the only way to do this, I think, is for everybody to do opium. This whole thing needs to be opium everywhere. Oh, you know what? This is the problem right here. This one's not connected to the road anymore. There we go. Now it can send it. All right, good. So with everything being opium here now, I feel like these are just gonna be stacked with opium all the time, I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, so, Hector, I want you to deliver, or don't. What happened? I wanted to purchase the vegetables, what happened? Who delivered the vegetables? Somebody did. Oh, she's going all the way around to deliver that now. Yeah, because I ruined the road. Um, okay, no problem. We'll just, uh, um, no, like we can, we go through there. Mm, like, eh, I might as well just connect this road, right? Might as well just reconnect this road. So she doesn't have to go all the way across anymore, you know? She's kind of going the long way. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but she is kind of going the long way right now. No more vegetables, really. I know I bought them. Somebody, somebody already uh, already took care of that, I guess. Oh, this has vegetables in it. Yeah, move. Oh, you know what it was? I bet this warehouse took the vegetables as soon as I bought them. Yeah, that's what happens. This truck right here is gonna go get them. Yep, okay. So you are gonna deliver vegetables right now to, I we, honestly, I don't think we need it. Like these guys are already full of vegetables. They should start to get a lot of opium now, though. They should. Because all of the farms are doing nothing but opium now. And then the vegetable supply they have is going to start getting used up that way. Yeah, there's already a combined 19 packs that need to be shipped out. So we'll, we should start seeing the vegetables move through the territory now. And there's already 20 in storage. So we're going to see a lot of that right now. I'm going to have you stop delivery on uh, on the money because it's it's kind of absurd and again the the quest is to build hu humility so we have fifty thousand dollars building humility is easier if i have like some sort of charity i think in here instead of the jewelry store so what's the maximum on this i mean i didn't pay for i didn't pay for the taxi you can 1600 a day, which is, uh, I think, what's your limit? I don't know. I like the jewelry store being there, but the taxi service is what I had before. How do I do more charity aside from just buying vegetables? I mean, buying vegetables can't be, 
can't be the only thing I do. I mean, that's... This is going to go down over time, unless I just sit here and hit this button over and over again. I feel like I'm supposed to get some sort of, like, charity building. I feel like that's the intended, anyway, that's the intention. If I could do, like, a persistent purchase here, too, it'd be like, um, telling this that as soon as it's done, buy it again, you know? That would be nice. As a feature. Maybe I can, uh... Maybe I could do that if I had one of my guys, like, stationed in here the whole time. Is that a way to... Is there a way for me to tell Hector to just constantly buy this? No, it doesn't seem like it. Well, that's all good, I guess. We're just gonna have to move back to the warehouse to get it. Because the trucks will instantly... I wish... I do wish you could buy a higher quantities, too. That'd be nice. Deliver the... Yeah, deliver this to... I don't know. Pick one. Go. Alright, yeah, yeah. Because now they're, you know... They're gonna constantly get the vegetables, but... I think, uh... I think we need to purchase more. We need to purchase it faster. Or I just need to get a different building. I mean, that, that's... I think that's the other solution. It's just to say, hey... You know, bye-bye to one of these places. Maybe this is it. Maybe we demolish the taxi company or the jewelry store. Which one? Which one? Which one? I don't know which one's faster or better. And I don't know. Maybe we just get rid of the... Let's just get rid of the jewelry store. Any resources inside will be lost. Um, well, you know, that's a problem if we have people delivering, which we do right now. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you to stop delivery for now. Check on our airfields. They're not even being fully utilized anymore. Nope, they're not. So we should think about hitting them harder since we can. So you are delivering here and you are delivering there. So let's take a look. We'll get another farm and we can do the farm. Uh, let's, these are 82%, uh, 63%. Seventy seven percent, eighty eight, ninety three. Ninety three is pretty good. Drop one there. And we're gonna drop one over here too if we can. I think this covers it. I don't see the thing is I don't know if it's gonna get covered by this workshop. By this warehouse or not. Hundred percent efficiency right there. Alright. Uh there. Okay. These three together should be enough to saturate this air this airfield pretty easily. And then we'll just kind of go like this. Hopefully that... Oh, no. Does it not work? Oh, it's just out of range. No way. Oh, bugger. It's just out of range. Well, that's a waste. That sucks. I was like, I'm trying to get that 100%. I can move the road. Why don't we just move the road? We'll go like this. And we'll just move this road over. And then we'll get rid of this road. Here we go. And now we'll take the farm and just put it here. Easy. Easy game. Should have thought of that the first time. But... Hey, I'm a noob. What are you going to do? Uh, make fun of me for my life? The rest of my life? Don't do that. Okay, jewelry store has nothing in it, so let's go ahead and demolish it. And then uh, we will build a, a different building. We're going to build one that's, like, more charitable. I think that's better. And then, again, the terror is now completely down, so Buddy is going to come on over here and dump all this money on a taxi. And it's going to do all that. And he'll move through town, and it'll do the terror thing again, and... It'll be a thing, but look at this. This this next boatload is gonna bring ten thousand, and there's already still sixteen thousand in there. So this like the shipyard, man. This is why I wanted to get to the shipyard because it's it's it just it's so much better. All right, buildings. I want something charitable. Give loyalty an action medium. Uh, okay, circus. Loyalty one time increase small. No thanks. Uh, but this can launder cash, though. The amusement park can also... Oh, okay. These can both launder cash. Medium. Six. Uh, jewelry store. No. Church. Medium. 
can I want something that can give loyalty on action and also launder like this medium and also launder amusement park yeah or or casino hey the bank can also launder cash faster but I think the casino man because we can get more loyalty that way let's build a casino casino in our city gotta do it should have done that from the start. It costs twice as much as the jewelry store does, though, so I probably couldn't do it before, but feels good. Feels real good. All right, are we saturating this now? To the point where, uh... I would hope that we're doing it enough to where we don't have to worry about it filling up, but I got a feeling that it's too much. Probably have to split it. This one's not doing enough, though, so... If we split it, then we'll just be sending it to both, and that's actually still okay. So if I was to, for example, have another farm that is not quite as efficient, but still pretty good. Uh, yeah, he wants a raise. I'm going to give him a promotion too. And I want kid kidnapping for you too. Let's go kidnapping for you. You know, you know, we could... Uh, we could, we really could have uh, a kidnapping. You know, we could, we could, today's a good day for a kidnapping, I think. It seems like a pretty decent day for a kidnapping. Just a bit. Uh, come on, I really, I really wish I could do that. I can, all I have to do is remove the stupid road. Stop being a cheap ass and do things well, that makes no sense i mean it makes sense right now looking at it but like long term it makes no sense like once this road is gone why the hell am i doing that you know so let's just kind of you know like that be better. okay and then we'll just kind of remove this road bye road hello see road's gone and now ta -da, you can fit it it's a miracle 100%. Okay. And then we'll put that like that. And we want to split this now. So this is going to go to both sources. There. Now it's going to increase both sources. Uh, hopefully, like, equally. Because we do want it to... Like, we don't, we don't want this to have everything going to one airfield, right? Because, like, look at this. Now it's going to be overflowing. So I'm kind of hoping it... It's not sending it the other way. Uh-oh. It's not sending it the other way. Why isn't it sending it to the other one? I thought when I split sources, that's what it would do. Let's have it send it only to one for a while. Because this one's got a lot. I, I wonder why it's... It sent 12 that way. Let's get this fixed. So it's kind of silly that it has to go through there. So I'm just going to do this. So we can go around the city too. Um, but still, like, I don't see it. I don't see it going out that way the way I would have liked. Yeah. Okay, so we have lots of dirty money here. And I feel like we're going to get lots of attention on us. There are another 11,000 coming in here. How is, ah, the taxi service is now overloaded. And so is this. Okay, emergency, emergency. You are going here. You are going here. Everyone respond, go. And okay, stop. I want you to take some of this money and dump it off the casino, please. Now you've done that and there's yep now we can do this charity event the rich will be very happy uh duration one day loyalty increase 14 execute okay so good hopefully and we're gonna go ahead and move back over to here yeah well, how much is here now okay good we have a reasonable amount there but i think we need to do it again we need to move more money over to the casino and then I need to move back. 
Oh, you're already there. Okay, good. Now we've split this up kind of evenly, and you can both launder money at the same time. Very good. Move back to the airfield. You. I want you to deliver... Um, wow. You're getting all of the opium. Why? Yeah, let's spread that out, huh? How come you're getting all the opium? How come you're not getting any? How come you're not managing your trucks? What's going on here? Huh? You're supposed to be delivering it to that workshop. What's what's the what's the big deal here? Oh, did I mess it up? I did. I didn't I didn't stop his delivery. Yeah, I just had him just keep going. Okay, I want you to stop delivery now. Okay, now we have these a bit more evenly distributed. Crisis averted. But for how long? <laughs> for how long? Oh my gosh, there's so much money over here now though. Like, yeah, he's gonna have lots of dirty money. We're gonna need, like really, we're gonna need some other stuff to go on. I wanna take control of this. Power of trust, man. I gotta get my loyalty up. We're at acceptance. Acceptance is pretty good, you know? I feel like acceptance is good. Let's talk to Ragandes here, this government here, huh? What you got, mayor? They say that you're the mayor and are responsible for everything in this region. Uh-huh. Hello, you have reliable information. I, I, admittedly, I think that's a little bit of, that's a little bit bland as far as dialogue goes. Uh, yes, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna take control of this region. Are you now? Okay. This is a common story in our area. Yeah, uh, we will need to conclude some kind of tact, uh, tacit agreement with you. I will negotiate with some significant people and will, you will provide me with help. Hey, this is like, the, uh, honest, guys, guys, can you, I, I'm open to this, okay? You may not know me, all right? Uh, a tiny build, but like, I have a, I'm a filmmaker. I'm a, I have a film degree and I specialize in narrative development. Um, like, uh, I can help you with this story, okay? <laughs> The dialogue is it's really, really bland. All right, uh, and I see that you are not sitting in this place for nothing. Name your conditions. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe you're like, maybe it's like part of the joke, right? Like it's, it's maybe bland as being part of it. All right, so they wanted us to get to acceptance, I guess. Yeah, I guess they wanted us to get to acceptance because we already did it. So now the next thing is Domination. Acquire regional control by elimination. Eliminate enemy gang presence in, presence in Rogandes. Okay. Oh, I want to so bad because you guys have access to this checkpoint. And man, checkpoints are good. Oh, they're so good. So you want me to eliminate the gang presence in six places, which is like all of this. So don't mind if I do, I guess. Time to move to the city. We got... We got some liberation to do, all right? Regandes wants a little bit of freedom, all right? And uh, I gotta tell you, I know how to dish it out. I know how to dish out freedom. Here we go. <laughs> but you guys are gonna see that happen in the next video. And hopefully it's a little more organized than this one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button. I, I do appreciate that as well. You can subscribe if you haven't already and check out anything else we're doing on the channel, including Chef, Surviving the Aftermath's new update. Ah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great day. It's a great time to be a gamer, guys. Let me tell you, there's some more stuff coming down the pipe too. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.